Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Chick. This is 100% the outdoors. And today I'm snap jigging some plastics, but there's a twist. It's a new, and it's a newer hook to me. I have done a little bit of uh, fishing with it already, but I was fishing on shore. I am fishing with, I'll pull one out right here. Spinner jig from Acme. This is a quarter ounce, and this is exactly what I'm using, clown color. As you can see, I have a bunch here all set up, ready to go. These are these are the baits I snap jig with lots, the pendu jigs, and then now I'm going to be snap jigging with these uh, spinner jigs. Quarter ounce spinner jigs. Oh, and this is a Rapala. Uh, it's new this year. Geez, I'm having a brain fart on the exact, on the name for it. But this is a new Rapala box. I'll put, I'll put the name for it kind of like, Right here, I'm having a brain fart right now what it is, but it's a new tackle tray. They have a bunch of different uh, models of them. It's a new series they just released. Wrap stacks. I think I got them. I think they're called a wrap stack. Hopefully. Hopefully I nailed it. But it's got, these ones have a foam insert for all your jigs. A huge fan of that, because you can like shake it around. It's even open right now. The lid's even open and I'm shaking it. And they don't come out. Anyways, I got squirreled. I got squirreled. I like things. When I use stuff, I like to show the stuff off. But we need to start fishing. We're going to grab a rod and throw some uh, hooks out. There's a chance we sight fish a couple walleyes too, hopefully. Nice. Sight fishing walleyes, baby. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, it was really cool. I saw that fish cruising the sand here. Very cool, very cool. I love this style of fishing. Probably more than anything, snap jigging plastics. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, that is an excellent first walleye. Snap jigging plastics, can't beat it. Well, that didn't take long. This is the bait I'm using, like I showed in the intro, the quarter ounce spinner jig here from Kalen's, Kalen's Google Eye spinner jig. But this is a 2.8 inch, uh, it's called electric, and it is a tickle shad. The color's electric, and it's a tickle shad, 2.8 inch. That was cool. That was cool. Look at them on there right now. Just bulldog, another one coming with it too. That was so cool. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice Walter. I love snap jigging walleyes. Probably, probably one of my favorite ways to fish them. Nice. Not as big as the first one, but a nice one though, that's for sure. Oh, right there, 30, 35 feet. I feel like this spinner jig is gonna give an extra flash when you're popping it. I've always used the pendu jig in the past for my snap jigging plastics, but I know the long shank Kalen's Google Eye works very well. So, so should this. This is a bit, little bit lighter bait though. I usually use a 3 8 ounce just because it falls quicker. So I just have to fish it a little bit slower. There's a fish down there engaging on it. I have to fish it a little bit slower. Come on. And it's better for the shallower. Like if I was fishing deeper, right now I'm only 9 feet. If I was fishing deeper, I would want a 3 8 ounce for sure. Come on, I'm trying to get the fish's attention. He engaged with it once, but I can't get his attention again. He's uh, he's done with it right now. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Saw that fish chase the bait down. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. 
but things are good. Voila. Not even netting you, hey buddy? You're a, you're an eater. Maybe even like, you'd be bottom end of the eater, like a 16 inch or horrible sun, but snap jigging walleyes, baby. Dropped right on top of those fish, right there at 40 feet. That was cool. Pitched right through them. And then just worked it nice and slow. Decent walleye, decent walleye. Shallow water is probably some of the best time to snap jig a plastic. If it got to be deeper, then I'd start snap jigging like a hyper rattle or a jigging wrap, something like that. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Come on, come on. It's a great rod for the six, nine medium light. For a quarter ounce or for if i was going to go to a three eighths i like my medium more than my, the medium light beautiful fish right there like a 22 23 inch or something like that gorgeous golden walleyes uh, maybe only 21 even so you don't have to but i like to kind of match up the jig with the color of the the bait that i'm using like the soft plastic so right now i have a color called clown on and i have the color electric for a 2.8 inch um, tickle shad and then say if i was going to use the arkansas shad color i'd use this one right here i forget the the name of this one i think it's called the tennessee shad i believe and you can match it up right like the gold i like to run with the sun, color sunny you can match it all up white the, the white one glow yeah you don't have to match up the color to the the jig head but i just find it just flows yeah, a little bit nicer that being said if you maybe wanted to create like a, a bullseye for the fish you could throw on something brighter on the head to kind of give it that target too there's so many different ways to do it there's no right way any way that you find that works for you obviously is the right way for you keeping bottom contact is so important when you're fishing a bait like this this style you don't want to like skim it across the surface you want to create bottom contact a lot of times these walleye are going to pin that bait right to the bottom you're going to go to pop it again and there's going to be weight or maybe you're walking across the bottom and they pick it up but keeping bottom contact with soft plastics are definitely a necessity i feel like dropping down there right there at 35 feet pretty close to that fish there a couple of fish Give it a little snap, pop it up, let it settle, snap, pop it up, let it settle, snap, settle. And just repeat over and over again. You don't need live imaging for something like this. You can just go along with your trolling motor and you can just work it or you can anchor somewhere, cast around, work the whole area, try somewhere else. The only thing live imaging is gonna do is just put you on fish just that much quicker. That was cool. Live imaging definitely has its place. That was really cool. Saw that fish sitting out by itself, 35, 40 feet away, just I was kind of cruising along the shore. Oh, head camera's about to die, or memory card, something like that. Oh well, okay, well. You're not gonna get to see me net this fish, but you will see me show it off. Biggest one of the day so far, probably a nice 24 incher. Some of the live imaging, pitched out, nailed them. Right there, pitching the shore. That's another nice fish, another nice one. Another nice fish. There's my net. I like this rod a lot. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, can't beat golden walleyes. Northern golden walleyes, hard to beat them. They are beautiful. Oh, what kind of net job was that, Clayton? That was poor. Give him a quick show off here with the better sun angle. Another nice. Lean, mean, 
northern walleye. Okay. Yeah. If you've never snapped jig plastic before, or caught walleye with plastics, and you've always used bait, give the tickle shot a try. If the bite's a little bit more finicky, go to 2.8. If the bite's a little bit more aggressive, go to 3.8, or even later in the year, maybe a 4.8, something even bigger. And like I said, I'm using a quarter ounce a day. Normally I use a 3 8 ounce pendu jig, but I am liking this quarter ounce setup in shallower water with a lighter rod. And that's a medium light rod that I'm using today. There we go. Felt him thump it. Nice. Another beautiful eater. Nice eater. Nice eater. Spot lock here. Land them. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little too big for an eater. Well, there we go. Another nice golden walleye. And that will wrap up this video. Some of my videos are gonna be longer. Some of them are gonna be shorter. Some of them I'm just gonna show like one new lure or a method that you can use, something like that. Some we're gonna go for an adventure. We're gonna always change it up. But anyways, thank you so much for watching as always. And don't forget, get outside. <laughs>